hello guys welcome once again now i am going to show you how to change the look and feel of your run j frame by using j tattoo so just go to your browser write j tattoo dot jar so you can see here the official site of j tattoo is here so just click that and you can see in download section j tattoo dot jar size 640 kb so you can just click and download just this jar file and i also want to show you that this is a free for private use and free for freeware and royalty free so this is an open source jar file so you can download it and use it for your jframe so just click it and download so this will here download the j tattoo jar file and then go into your j frame and go to your program or project and here in libraries right click go to the properties and in here project properties box click add jar folder and you can just add this j tattoo wherever you have saved your jar file so i just click it and press open so my, my jar file of j tattoo is included in my libraries and I press OK so it is included in my libraries now go to your public stated void main method which is just above these j component declaration this is the main method and right click this positive or plus sign in front of which it's written look and feel set setting code so just click it and your look and feel code will open here you have to hide these three lines of code because this these three lines is for the nimbus feel and look look and feel which is a default netbeans look and feel so just hide these three lines by these slashes okay you have to write these slashes here here so hide this nimbus code like this just we are hiding this nimbus code and you can see the errors coming in your method so you can right click and just fix import and now go to the website of j tattoo and in this click how to and here click how to change look of your application just click here and at the bottom of this code you can see this line ui manager dot set look and feel 
com dot j tattoo dot p l a f dot smart dot smart look and feel just copy this whole line and paste it here where if you have hidden your numbers code just paste paste right after that and you can see all errors are gone and here you have pasted your new look and feel line so just you have to copy and paste this one line and hide the nimbus feel and look by these two quotes and let's now run the program run and you can see your j frame feel and look change to the smart look so in j tattoo there are different looks you can change for your j frame you can see it here this is only one type or one look you can go back and go here how to change the theme and in here below you can see this is the same look you can see in here how to use predefined theme and in here you can see another code for different look acryl look so we are copying that one line and we are pasting instead of our previous look and feel line I'm pasting a new line which we have copied and now if you run the program so your look and feel change to acryl look so in on the J tattoo site there are so many feel and look uh, code you can find every code will look like this only the middle this part will change once again I will search for the new look I will click change how to how to change the default look and feel of Java application and here is no look uh, so I go go here how to change the look and feel or how to change the logo text in pop-up menu just click it and you can find a new look which is arrow look so I'm just copying this one single line UI manager dot set look and feel and copying it and going into my I've been source code and replacing the single line and now I, when I run the program it, it changes to the new look of arrow so you can find different look code in J tattoo site and change your look and feel there are many looks there so I think I should close or complete this video now I hope you have learned a new thing today and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.